Hello Gemini, this is going to be your soulmate tarot reading for March 2019. This is not going to resonate for all Geminis. This is for Geminis dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame situation. It may not even resonate with you if you are dealing with that situation because it is a general reading. You could always book a personal reading. I have a reading special going on right now. Two questions for $20. It's in the description. Um, and you can also get the extended to this if you would like more on the... Um, each of the elements, I'm going to pull and see how Gemini's energy is looking for each of the elements in the extended, okay? So I wanted to let you guys know I'm using a brand new deck. I got this deck on my travels to New Orleans recently. Uh, so I've never used this deck. This is my first time using it with you guys. So if I, I'll try not to suck with it. Um, that's where that'll go. Okay, so I guess this is an extra card. All right, so what we're going to do is get right into it. Um, everything you'll need is in the description below. Um, please comment below, like, or share the video. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> also, if you book a reading with me, please try to make sure you're not booking the same question over and over again, like every day, because it does drain me. I asked if you could like, at, you know, span it out within two weeks. Just let the energies play out if possible or ask something different about a different subject because that's kind of what the, one of my biggest issues is. So um, I'm just trying to like remember to mention that as often as I can because I don't think people take that into account. Reading the same situation three times a week might drain a reader. So, um... Not that I don't, I love personal readings, it's just like, sometimes I get someone asking me the same question every day, and it's a lot, so, yeah. Alright, so, um, the, the foundation for you and your soulmate is the Page of Wands, so, um, this is fire sign energy for some of you, Gemini, Libra, um, so not Libra, Leo, so you could be dealing with the Libra, but, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, but the Page of Wands is a new beginning or um, some type of love offer, some type of spark. A page to me is not a new person. This would be to me a person obviously that you've already been dealing with, um, in my opinion, for the page, but you know, everyone's different. This could be a new relationship with someone you were already with at some point. It could be someone you have children with, all right? Three. Show me the energy between Gemini and their soulmate throughout March, please. Remember that retrograde is going on, so this is pretty crucial times for you, Gemini. Alright, so we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wish fulfillment with the Page of Wands. Ooh, nice. Okay. Mm, so um, it's a relationship that you want. And it is with the Divine Masculine. For some of you who are Gemini women watching this, it's with your soulmate, your male soulmate. This is the Magician. Some of you could be Aries, okay? Or it is someone who's getting things in order to, in order to bring about this new beginning between you and this person. Crossing is the Eight of Pentacles. So you're both willing to work on the situation. That's the goal here. Someone's also trying to get their money in order. So those of you who are dealing with a Divine Masculine in particular, he may not be coming forward right now with an offer because he uh, is working to get his money together. Or he may be coming together and, and you guys are coming together to do that. Okay, wow. All right, High Priestess. That's a two guys. Um, I love this deck. <laughs> It's an awesome deck. High Priestess, Major Arcanas. But the reason why I'm saying wow is because when we're doing a soulmate twin flame reading, these are really nice to see the High Priestess and the Magician together in that because these are the soulmate cards. This is the Divine Masculine, the Divine, I'm um, sorry, this is the Divine Masculine, the Magician, and this is the Divine Feminine, the High Priestess. Okay, so <clears throat> you both are in this reading, Gemini, you and your twin flame soulmate whatever you want to call it whoever you feel that resonates with okay this is the five of cups energy at the bottom of the deck so we're letting go of the past all right we're letting go of sadness things we can't control that's being let go of also for some of you your divine masculine or just your partner in general whoever this is resonating for it could be anyone um 
that what I'm meaning like so we have the nine of cups in the past so that's wish fulfillment again we've seen that card already at one point okay. I'm trying to just let them fall out they're flying they've got much to say much to say All right, so last time I'm shuffling, I didn't. Sh I don't want to shuffle anymore. So we have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's nice looking cards, man. Um, and that also, again, is for some of you, is talking about finances being a factor. Also, for some of you, someone's holding on to a past relationship they need to let go of. We have the chariot as your future card, so forward movement. Someone's gathering their resources together. I keep hearing that. They're trying to get their money right. <sighs> King of Wands is the mutual energy, so fire signs are showing up pretty strong. Some of you are dealing with a Leo, Aries, could be a Sagittarius, but Aries is here three times now, so... Um, this could be a Leo energy, or it could be your Divine Masculine taking action for the Divine Feminine, or it's just your mutual energy between you two. Some of you could be dealing with a, a karmic fire sign in the meantime, or something like that. We have the Earth energy showing up. King of Pentacles, external to a relationship. Someone's dealing with an Earth energy coming up here. But this also, again, talks about finances. Someone's trying to get their finances in order. Some of you are a Gemini who's dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign simultaneously. Wow, we've got another earth energy, Queen of Pentacles. Right. Queen of Pentacles is talking about doing the work. Someone's got to put in work in this situation. All right. And then we've got the star card. Nice as the outcome it is this is going to be a lonely month. This may be a month of even like separation between you two. This may be a month of lack of communication. Remember, the High Priestess is your crowning energy. The High Priestess doesn't really speak much. She doesn't say much. She's very mute because she knows what's coming towards her, and she doesn't really need to say much. Some of you, there's a third-party situation going on here. Um, someone might be financially obligated to another situation, like your soulmate may be obligated to someone else financially, and that could be... Uh, putting a hindrance on the relationship. There is a very strong sexual connection between you and this person though, Gemini. If you are wondering if you are not um, wanted sexually, even if they are being distant, maybe they are also, like I said, you could be dealing with someone, Gemini, who's dealing with an earth sign and um, their their energies are being, um, their energies are acting a certain way towards you because um their earth sign, their, their situation with their earth sign is not going well or something like that. If it's a third party situation, I'm clarifying this earth sign now. All right. So we've got the eight of swords and we've got the five of swords. Yeah. Wow. Um, blocks or, or, um, some of you, if you're not dealing with an earth sign, your partner dealing with the earth sign and you at the same time, um, or your partner is obligated to someone else financially and there's conflicts over that there's blockages because of some sort of conflict with an earth sign okay this could be conflicts with money okay again so yeah there's some blockages to the relationship there's something two of cups okay nice soulmates twin flames there's something keeping you two apart this month for a lot of you it's money someone owes someone else money this could be not even a, a romantic person they owe money. It could be somebody like a landlord or something like that. You got Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Star card clearing the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles clarifying the star card. So it's telling me that this com this committed relationship with this person, Gemini, is coming in the future. It's just not time because someone has to get their finances in order. Someone has to put in the actual tangible earthly work in order for this to come together the chariot also suggests that things are moving forward if you're dealing with a cancer it's going forward um if you're dealing with an aries it's going forward if you're dealing with a pisces or a cancer it's going forward if there's just some blockages here earth signs i'm seeing blockages okay there may be some blo er, blo uh, blockages with earth signs this could be financial 
of earth sign could be in the way of your connection with your soulmate through means of obligation. What is this King of Wands energy here for Gemini? We've got the Eight of Cups. So someone may be leaving behind a fire sign or a fire sign is leaving you behind Gemini. Okay, so, so yeah, there's um, they may have another offer, Knight of Cups, the fire sign, or you may have another offer. Some of you may be leaving a relationship to go towards a fire sign, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling that's your current situation for some of you, Gemini, and you're leaving that and going towards something more stable, star card, ten of pentacles. Or for some of you, to be honest with you, for the male Gemini, maybe in particular, maybe you are being left behind by a fire sign, and this sparks the... Um, sparks the juice for you to go ahead and do what you got to do to get this fire sign back the sun card leo in particular somebody gemini somebody holla at me in the comments tell me if i'm feeling right about that some of you it's just due time with a leo it's in due time but that leo may walk away from you for the time being maybe even for an earth sign that the earth sign ain't really paying them no attention though so that might be a dead end if you're a leo leaving a gemini for an earth sign or you know if that's your situation in general even if the signs don't match i don't know about earth earth is just coming up in very like things that need to be worked on or worked through there's blockages with earth here so um if that's your situation but with Leo, I do feel like there will be a future with Leos, but it's just not time. The Leo may be walking away, and that could be what sparks this Gemini's um, to get, get a fire under their ass and get their life together and get their money together, whatever the situation is. Because someone's getting things in order. Page of Wands um, at the foundation. So the start of a new relationship is the core message here. Like this is all being done for this new relationship to come in. High Priestess Crowning is saying, I know it's coming in. It's just a matter of time. Magician, someone's getting things in order. They're both conjuring. So both of you may have things that you have to get in order. Both of you may have work that you need to do. And we lo sometimes we love to watch these tarot readings and I'm saying we because we all watch them and we're like oh yeah they are doing that and we're getting on the other person and we don't sometimes we be like filtering out what the tarot reader said about us so sometimes it's both of y'all that may have to get your things in order here okay I will say whatever the magician is doing maybe your divine masculine energy whatever he is doing he's doing with his his goal woman in mind his high priestess which is you Gemini for the Gemini woman, okay, or to them, whatever you you resonate with, you know, whatever you resonate with. I don't know. People resonate with different energy. Sometimes I resonate with more masculine energy, you know. So um, that Eight of Pentacles is your challenge, though. So money or some type of work being put in. It could be emotional work. You had to take a break from each other. Um, but the chariot again suggests we're coming back around. We're coming back around. We just got to get our stuff together. We're willing to put in the work. We're willing to. My phone battery is trying to tell me it's going to die, but it's supposed to be plugged up. Anyway, um, we're going to put in the work. We're going to do what it takes to move forward and put the past behind us. So this looks good, Gemini. You have a really good, stable future coming in with whoever this is, okay? Could be an Aquarius. It could be whoever you feel is your soulmate or your twin flame. That's why I do these readings for these particular type of energies. I did forget to mention, if you do want tarot classes, if you want to learn tarot, they're available on my site as well. I take payments. The first class starts the 15th, so um, you might want to get on that. All right, I got like two more slots left, okay? Um, and we're going to go ahead and get into the extended now. We're going to um, see what the energy is looking like for Gemini's in each of the elements, okay? So if you're dealing with a water sign, we'll go over water, we'll go over fire, we'll go over air, and so on, okay? So I will see you for the extended. If not, I will see you for the next reading I do in March or April, okay? Bye, Gemini.